Hey everyone, so good morning and let's start our tutorial. So in previous tutorial we have started the AIs. With the AIs we have included one character and we have created one animation uh, if I'm not wrong, right? So it was playing idle and we have connected it using the blend spaces. So today we will create its brain. Like right now it is idle, just like uh, he's standing not doing anything. So if you will simulate it, it will just play idle animation, nothing else. So today we will give him some tasks. So our main target is to have the multiple AIs, mainly three type of AIs. Like one will be the roaming AIs, like they will, uh, they will be like the patrolling guys. So this is the first type of AIs and we will uh, add functionality to these. Like uh, we will add mainly three type of functionality. One is like he will choose random locations and he will move to that direction. As soon as he will hear some sound, he will go to go to that sound. That is second task. And third task is if we will try to shoot him. Like let's imagine if we will shoot at it legs or the hands, then he, he will try to hide somewhere. So these are the three type of uh, capabilities we will add to this guy. So let's start with the first one where we will create the functionality where it will choose some random directions and uh, he, he will move to that direction uh, okay so for this in the core under AI section I will create one more folder called brain and uh, I will in the artificial intelligence uh, if you don't know about behavior tree in the blackboard behavior tree is the pattern like he will decide what to do so we will and like we will uh, let, let me write this first then we will go through it bt uh, ai brain save and i will create one blackboard to blackboard is the memory like all the variables uh, which uh, will be used by this ai will come under this so blackboard bb underscore ai rom sorry this is the rom one ai rom Okay, so if you will click the blackboard, it will automatically open that tab only, like the blackboard which we have created. So, so I am just creating one variable called target location, and it will be the type of actor. So I am choosing that and click save. You can create more, and in the behavior tree, uh, like the when execution will start it will start from here give me a second okay so execution will start from the root and it will go till the leaves but in the mid it will check if it will go down it can go down or not all the nodes will uh, they are like the task which the ai can perform and we can also put checks on it so you will get that idea as soon as you will go forward so right now as soon as we will drag it from the root it will ask like what type of sequence do we want one is sequence simple parallel and selector sequence is like let's imagine i am playing some tasks like make noise i am just putting some random task here so you can get the idea so first is you can see the numbers one and two right so sequence is like once this will be true then it will move to this task once it is true then it will go to the rightward direction the leave of the sequence so this is what we mean by sequence but if we will choose selector selector means is if uh, let's imagine this is like this if this is true it won't go to move to so selector is that so as soon as this is true it will again go back it will again go down and this will stay here so sequence is like if this is true then it will move to the next uh, if it is true then it will move to next Next is simple parallel. If you want anything in parallel, then we will use uh, we will choose this one. So right now, uh, I will choose the sequence one, and we will create one task. Like because uh, there are by default uh, we have tasks which we can add, like move to play animation, play sound. These are the different different tasks which is already there. But I want one custom task. So what we will do? I will click right uh, or the task we will create in the C++ this human core under AIs I will create the new C++ class under all classes I will type 
bt task and so these are the tasks which is already there so you can uh, override them but uh, just to get the more clarity so you can get the more clarity I will choose the BTT task node click next and B M B T T underscore uh, or BTT we will write I always suffix with one M so uh, we can segregate between our classes and the Unreal classes uh, choose random location and we will create one hold up called brain mm, yeah we can create one more folder to call tasks because we will uh, in future we will create different different type of tasks so I'm creating that let me open the rider uh, we should get that pop-up once it is loaded it did let me remove all these uh, folders and it should be there right in the task if we'll see it is there okay so the first thing is uh, the task which you have created we have different different overrides and functions so it is kind of similar to the blueprint so uh, there is one function called execute function so let me open the uh, behavior tree let's imagine we uh, let's imagine we are creating this inside the uh, blueprint one so how we will create that task blueprint base select let's imagine uh, if uh, we are creating like this so we will override like this right and uh, we have function called receive execute AI so as soon as this uh, will start it will go from here to uh, here let's imagine uh, it is new blueprint right so this will call this this task when this task will start it will initiate this event and we can do as uh, like we can do uh, anything right here so when we will do it in the C++ how we will do that let's see okay I think we have deleted something <laughs> we will create that too okay no issue so in the BTT choose random uh, I will override some function so generate code override member and the function name is execute talks task which is equivalent to that uh, that function which we have seen and in the recent I am getting a weird issue so I will implement that function although we are not doing anything related to this uh, gameplay task initialized task activated sorry uh, let me check gameplay gameplay task activated let me choose that too so it is kind of like uh, begin play alt enter generate definition by declaration press ok and this is done so the thing is as soon as we have we are trying to execute tasks we have to write like if it is uh, like it's succeeded or like uh, is it successful is it not or it is still in progress so if you will uh, go to the definition of BT node result it is succeeded failed abort and in progress let's imagine we have some tasks uh, like called wait so in that we will return in progress if we are unable to find the location random location we will uh, abort it or failed and if it is done then we will succeed it okay so how we will do that first we will get the blackboard component because uh, okay so in this blackboard we have this key right so we have uh, how we will get the value or how we will set the value in this blackboard because this is the brains memory okay so behavior tree it's grayed out because by mistake I have deleted it so again I will right click AI behavior tree behavior tree underscore bt underscore ai room let me click save okay sequence uh, choose uh, right now it will not come because I haven't compiled my code 
so let's do that first then we will come to that location so what we will do uh, if you black board component star black board component is equals to owner component dot get get black board component so if it is true then we will move forward else uh, we will return uh, ebt no result and we will mark it failed because uh, we are unable to find the black board component so if it is there then uh, what I will do th so the navigation which is there right now let me check if the navigation is there nef, nef mesh bound it is there if uh, you are unable to get it you can click P this is the shortcut or you can just check this so it is already there if you can see the green right so how we will get that so you navigation system v1 as soon as i'm pressing tab it is already uh, you know including this header file for me so make sure it is there get current and get world so what it will do it will write me it will give me the current navigation system so we have to cache so new navigation system v1 nav system is equals to this so if it is not there if navigation system is not there I will return ebt node result failed else we will go forward what I will do uh, so nav system dot get random reachable point in radius so what it will do it will give me one point which is which is there in in my periphery which I will give so first I have to put the origin so what I will do I will get the owner so uh, owner of this tree so owner component owner component get owner dot get actor location so this is our origin and it in what radius do we want that that we have to enter uh, let's imagine I do want it uh, I want it to be the variable so what I will do uh, again I will create one public section for the variables because I, I always segregate between the variables and the function so that is why so you function edit anywhere okay uh, by mistake I have written you function you property edit anywhere and it will be a float acceptable radius by default I am keeping it as 5000 which will be good so acceptable radius comma and here uh, we have to so it will write the uh, result in the f nav location so f nav location nav location what else nav location do we want anything else no uh, rest we will uh, keep it default and it will give the boolean like it, it is giving us boolean like if it is able to give us some data or not so let me cache that too uh, what I will do hmm, if return else return ebt not result failed okay so if it is true then uh, we uh, then we have the data inside the nav location as it will uh, it is it it is out right it's out in the nav location so blackboard component dot set so this is how we will set the uh, blackboard value right now like how you will set the value in the blackboard so this is how you will do it in the blackboard I do want uh, to enter the value inside this target location so set value as vector and here we have to enter the F name so F name so this is one of the type how you can do it uh, target location 
target location so this is how you can do it nav location dot location and uh, another way like with which you can do it in the uh, header file you can go and you can define your variable using the uh, like we have created this so control D it will not be the type of uh, float it will be like you F blackboard board key selector and target location key location BB key and shit target location okay my bad target location am I target location BB key yes copy paste it okay sorry it will be added anywhere I'm stupid copy paste it dot huh this is weird uh, F blackboard key selector target location BB key Yep, everything seems fine. Oh fuck! Sorry, my bad. Let me cross it and undo it because this is AI instance. My fault. Let me remove it. Let me close it. Uh, Alt O. Okay. Yep. My bad. So dot selected key name so what it will do it, it it is actually doing the same thing but the beauty of this code is like we can change it at a uh, runtime right like in the blueprint we can change it so i think we are done here so let's head back to unreal and let me compile it just to check if everything is fine or not mm-hmm okay we are not returning else 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 I think we are okay okay let's try it now control B okay so it gave us this error and what does it mean that it is unable to find this file uh, it is because that we haven't added the module here first we have to add the AI module AI module and second is as we have we are using the navigation system in C++ so we have to add the navigation system okay let's compile again control B okay now it is succeeded so what we can do in the behavior tree go to the behavior tree under the sequence we will add that task which we have created choose random location which is coming here and here you can see we have two variables to choose one is the acceptable radius which we have uh, set default to 5000 which is coming great and the target location bbk like this is the key which we can choose if we would have given the hard coded then we cannot change it right so that is why we take it as a variable so as soon as it will start it will start like this okay uh, like it will go and here what it will do it will save the random location in the target location and we will add the one more task call move to and here we will choose the blackboard to the target location so what it will do like and I will do one more thing in between I will put some weight and I will put weight like 
5 and we can deviate like 10 so it's just like 10 uh, it will put some weight right like uh, minimum is 5 waiting time and minus 10 so it will like 0 it can wait or not so it can decide I can also place it like this as soon as you will rearrange it it will change its uh, numbering like 1 2 3 it will go in the sequence you can click save and we can try uh, th this one more thing which uh, we have to do like right now we haven't added any behavior tree so we have to do that too so let me open the rider in the AI base let's go to the header file first so first we will take the reference for the behavior tree so in the public I will create one more section let me delete this sorry Kurt paste virtual okay I always keep separate sections for the variable and the function so we can segregate it uh, properly so you property edit anywhere and it will be the you behavior tree star BT is the behavior tree and it's for the walk one right so uh, sorry Rome AI and yep right now this would do the task and head back to the C++ one and in the begin play what we will do uh, if AI controller controller AI controller is equals to cast AI controller get controller so what we are doing here we are checking if the the pawn like if the owner of this like the this character is owned by the AI controller if true then uh, what we will do we will put uh, we will initialize the behavior tree so AI controller dot run behavior tree AI behavior tree room AI and this should do the task if it is not true then G engine dot add debug add on screen debug message minus one comma one comma F color a red comma can't cast to AI controller so just uh, like let's imagine if this won't work out so we should have something right like we should have some feedback system so it is there let me delete this control B because we have to assign that uh, behavior tree it is compiled go back to our AI AI base and here it is a uh, MI base right so here we can choose our behavior tree compile and save let me go back to the behavior tree let me place this here and let's try if it is working out or not see it is waiting I think we have put some uh, like higher weight but okay and it's the right you can see the timestamp so max it's it should 15 like 5 plus 10 it should be 15 but uh, okay think it is way extra so let me try it with this two three four five okay I'm not sure why it's not working out so let me try deleting this compile and save huh okay it is not going to the right 
uh, okay I think I got the problem like we are returning fail every time but as soon as we are setting the vector we should have returned true so what we will do return ebt no result succeeded now compile it control B now we can set this like waiting time to 5 and 5 and live coding is succeeded let's try it now control B see now it is working fine as soon as it will move to some task it will wait and it will choose some random location I think this was it for today if you like the tutorial just like and subscribe if there is something which you are unable to follow just comment it below I will try my best to sort it out as soon as possible Thank you and have a nice day.